Okay, my friends, <clears throat> this case under every means should be close now. Uh, today I have managed to point out the location of, well, basically the home location of the state worker employed at this immigration facility here. Uh, in Grotniki, that is new lodge. Let's go and I'm gonna point you out where exactly watch is. You can see the blue dot right there. Then you can see the Warsaw it's here and mm -hmm. and I am gonna take you to the Lublin right here that is in eastern part of Poland. Now it's like this. What I did was just um, quite extraordinary. The problem was that Ruskis brainwashed like you would not believe. They wasted, I think, a mountain of money on me to get me confused with issues. Uh, in the end, they failed. Um, the first location I came to was near what you see here named as a Ruri. The second location I came to uh, was very close to Vinyava, uh, somewhere in about here. And well, it's just not just somewhere about here. It's exactly, exactly, exactly the streets, the apartments, the homes uh, I was taken in by the Ruskies, by the Russians. I would not even go and point these things out uh, if I was dishonest in the first place. I think that due to honesty that this thing has got to be pointed out. It's got to be demonstrated exactly how as it is. Um, I asked the lady, the state employee, she told me, in continuation, I'm going to demonstrate you the two facilities. Why also is the most important part about uh, for me to demonstrate this streets, this location is because the Ruskis were video recorded when they brought me to those locations. I know so. They were recorded by the Polish intelligence. They were recorded by someone else too. I'm not going to even say who. Whom, I should say. Then on the third time, then the third time what I did was, now that one was really, really good. Now, if this is a Lublin, um, if this is a Lublin, you see Ruri, Vinyava, uh, the third option, however, is located I'm just going to put it like this because the lady does not allow me to say her location. But I'm going to say it's Slavyankovska, which you see on the right side. But because she does not want me to, you know, state the location, whatever, demonstrate exact street, which I will demonstrate absolutely for the Polish police, I will not name one. However, this was the first location we came to. Make no mistake about that. Definitely is along the street known as Slavinkovska. And it is on the right side. And I actually remember how it looks like on the opposite side of the street. No, that one was not Ruski. That was not the Russian brainwash. Uh, but so, because right because you see this is how it works i am not going to only demonstrate where the lady was in lublin uh we met i met her in 2013 we know since 2013 and 2015 it is even more important, even more important, because these are just additional credits. These are the credits you get in addition to your witnessing account, because of what I have stated the case was, would be to point out the locations where 
<laughs> Russians took me to brainwash me to to mislead me on uh, on where exactly I was in the city of the Lublin. This is why this is so important because these are just extra credits and this thing is going to have to come out entirely uh, so the people can see how violent this Russian thuggery is, how desperate, how violent way this is. I mean to protrude something like this, to try to conceive something like this with a violence, with a violent ways. So the person would not find its way, his way out, no matter what. I mean, this is just amazing. That's why, because these things are going to come out, and it's important for me to say that this was the case. In a following tape, I'm going to show you the locations where I was. In addition to those locations, I'm going to also demonstrate you another location they had me, and that was also. Uh, in this area right here where you where you would come out with a vehicle um, we would come out with the car this would be the area we would go right here along this where you see the arrow like this and then we would come out right here de facto and we would go sometimes here at shopping mall this was the area also we stayed and there was another area i'm gonna go to the to the little location search like this this was yet another area they try to uh confuse me with exactly what you see right here where were we staying uh this was not the area we would stay, but they tried to confuse with this one here. This was not the area we would stay. They tried to confuse one. However, the Ruskis would bring me to this area also here that you see, and they would try to confuse with... Let me see. Okay, uh, the best will be for me to exactly demonstrate the areas which I try to confuse. And like I said, her place, I am not going to disclose. Her place is along the Slavinkovska on the right side for the police. However, I will do it. So, this is how they tried uh, to mislead, to lie about things. And something I was suggested, don't even touch Lublin because you cannot identify like this stuff. And what the Ruskis did, they did a tremendously good job screwing themselves up. Because when you do the stuff like this, and when you even point out the locations where you were brought, that is like dot on I letter. Make no mistake about that. Beautiful. This is the first location, uh, the number one location I just would jump to like according to the stuff I was taught and I can tell you that I was recorded right here with the Ruskis at this exact location right here they tried to brainwash me on how this exact location you see here was her place. Make no mistake about that. In a little bit, I am going to demonstrate you. I am going to demonstrate you exactly the area. It looks like this. What is important is how it looks awesome on the map. But this exactly is, I want to be precise about, I'm going to show right now. There are two buildings we were in, and I can point out for those two buildings um, the exact location where those buildings are. This is the stuff that matters a lot. Uh, Ruskis were video recorded. They were, I remember the stuff that took place. They were, they were followed. They were 
uh, people that accommodated them were uncovered, identified, and so on. So this is going to pay play uh, a big role in my case. That's why it's really, really important for me to uh, go about this business to see right here. This only adds an extra credit to my case for my benefit. That's why this is how. It's not a mistake. The only one that made a mistake was the one that played with this stuff. That's all the rest of it. Here is exactly the location. That would be number one. This here was the second Ruski location. Uh, like a big time brainwash, you know, that would be like a big, big, big time brainwash. The second preferred Ruski location. There were few and I'm going to take you exactly to the apartment unit where the people were that helped the Ruskis to brainwash on this very issue. Like I said, these people were identified. They were identified by the Polish intelligence and they were identified also by somebody else. Somebody else who I'm not going to say who that was. I am just going to go as fast as possible. Here we are in a street. We are heading toward that hill, but not across. And I'm going to point you out exactly the apartment unit where the Ruskis had me inside. And this is going to this is going to be way, way, way more costly than, you know, uh, Rusinskis believe that I'm going to make a mistake. I mean, how idiotic do you have to be? There you go. How idiotic do you have to be, really, how idiotic do you have to be, a little further it is, how idiotic do you have to be to actually do something like this when you're going to end up screwing up not only yourself but also other people and you're going to get a reputation like the worst reputation you possibly can get. I mean, Russian stupidity um there is absolutely no doubt about it and i don't like to use russian but what is stupid is stupid uh and you know they have proven that their master is just animal an animal who unfortunately they follow somehow go figure out that uh i cannot you know give a credit for stuff like this this was the second location I'll go there and I point, I'll point out exactly the apartment if necessary. There you go. This was the second location. If the worst would come to worse, they also played the game in this area here. Um, this is, however, not too far from there, uh, but still, still not there. Quite close to the right location, but still not there. This is also the area we were. And on the map it would basically it would look something like this. And of course there were other locations too. But that doesn't matter because these are the areas that were residential areas where they have their bodies. And that's the stuff that is interesting to me. Her location, again, I am not going to disclose. Um, I did set, I said too much. I said too much already. Um... To the police, however, I will disclose this and I will discuss with the police and I want the thorough investigation in respect to the two people that are here from the Belarus 
in the center because both of them were involved in this stuff. Um, these people were taped, not only in Zgersh, it was also in Lublin. Uh, we were also in Katowice. Gliwice, Katowice location. It was all kinds of stuff and I do believe that Mr. Kaczynski is an idiot, an incompetent idiot that does not know how to rule his country at all. He doesn't have a slightest clue about... Really one thing is to know what's happening but another one is to actually have a control and prevent stuff like this from happening. Uh, for me this is an idiot, this individual is incompetent, is something wrong with him uh, when you are a president like this when you are when you have people appointed like this as a prime minister as a, as a president and you have stuff like this happening uh, for me personally this is demonstration of a total incompetence and Poland just happened to be inside of the Schengen and we have the stuff like this happening on a scale compared to the Italy which is known about you know Calabria and stuff like that, Sicily, Mafia, Mafia and stuff like this. I don't have the words for this here. I don't know. I don't know what is what exactly is where where is this thing? What what is it? I mean what kind of a Kaczynski party refers to so to the people that want free Poland, to the people that want rules and regulations according to demand of the Polish people. I am referring to the people from Gdania where Mr. Adamowicz was killed. Uh, they refer to them as the liberals. You know, excuse me, but I do not understand exactly what is more liberal. I mean, is it more liberal to have people um, express uh, their desire for their way of life, freedom, uh, or is it more liberal to have literally KGB um, driving around with a hijacked American citizens, Slovenian citizens, and do with them basically as pleased whatever the hell they want. For me, this is as liberal as it gets. Uh, never mind his neo-Nazi agenda, whatever he is preaching to the people, uh, playing with the teachers with their salaries and stuff like this. Um, for me personally, this talks a lot about liberalism. This is not really a government that you can count on. This is not really the government, the government that governs its ter territory. This is the liberal way of Soviet Union inside of the Poland, basically is how I see it. This is joke, really. Mr. Kaczynski, you're a joke. You're a disgrace for the Poland, really. Based on the stuff I have experienced since Gersh, and I'm gonna have a documentary coming about. This is a really interesting documentary, but this Andre does have to go to the police station to Gersh. The police does have to see what uh, what was done with this thing. Uh, they gotta go. They gotta see it. Then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to do like complete restore, like factory restore, something like this, because when I did. The restore, the regular restore, it didn't, it didn't do anything. I mean, it's just a tool that is totally controlled that anything can be done with. Okay. It, you know, I, I do give myself a lot of credit, to be honest. And sometimes maybe even too much. Sometimes maybe too much. Uh, now, if I am pushed far enough, uh, I'll go and I'll do the stuff that... I have hesitated to do for many, many, many years. Because when you jump in something like this, uh, you don't swim across the river or across the lake. I mean, this is just worse than ocean you gotta go for a swim. This is far worse than anything you possibly can imagine. And I knew this when I took on this thing in 2006. I knew what's gonna happen. I knew it's gonna be impossible to go almost across. It's, it's gonna be doubtful, but I realized at a certain moment I don't have a choice to do it. I also remember the words of Mr. Kaczynski. Kaczynski brothers gestured 
if anybody can do this, you can do it. The thing, however, is that when I think about the stuff like this that happened in Lublin, when I think about the stuff like this that happened in Asgirsh documentary, I'm going to talk, I'm going to go over to point out what, what actually was given to the Ruskis. When I think about the stuff like this, I'm not going to say that I have honest doubts about, you know, sincerity, about their sincerity, their intention about this whole thing. Because, yeah, you can help, you can do certain things. But, you know, and it was, it was a help. Uh, Polish state, many things that did not change. They left them in the same way. So I could help myself. The stores also were open. Uh, like, release was also open when I would pop up and stuff like this. So, but then again, when you think about when you think about for how many years this thing went on, when you think about stuff that the Ruskis were allowed to do, um, I mean, what exactly were they not allowed to do? And then, then you have to really ask yourself about the sincerity of these words. If anybody can do it, you can do it. Uh, this thing is very serious. This has got to be seriously investigated. Uh, these things are got to be identified by the police and it's going to be a certain actions that have to be taken against what we have inside of the white house today uh, in washington dc this is just not an american option this is not even a polish option this is nobody's option this is an option that is out there to serve himself uh his chosen and that's a pretty much it this is the way it is uh, I don't think even a Kremlin, I think that, that, that man is out there just, you know, for a personal gain, uh, if Kremlin is not already bad enough. And I think this is about the worst as it gets. Russia, I don't know how possibly they, they allow themselves to land on a standard like this, but following that schizophrenic over there inside of the Kremlin is just a big mistake of Russia. I'm going to say this is just a big, big one, big ass mistake. Over 13,000 Ukrainian lives were lost over there in Ukraine and Russian lives. Uh, and things are just about going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. That's all I want to say for this video. Um, in respect to this issue, yeah, I was, you know, kind of suggested, brainwashed also on the MK Ultra that. Uh, you know, don't even think about them, they're about that and this and that. No, 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 this is exactly where I see that um, something has got to happen because it's not only her I have recognized, I have recognized all other state employees. I can give a good background for every other employee uh, who was prior to her. But something like this, something like this, and the stuff that I have just spoken about that's happening here in Poland, I think that this, that, you know, the state security, uh, security of the state, I don't know what actually could be more important than that. This should interest Polish security, Polish intelligence. And like I said, definitely is of interest to someone else that is also watching this. I'm not going to say anything who yet, but... It's a big one. That's all I got to say for this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time. I was tested in a way. I have realized that people watched this very closely when I was doing this stuff. In a way, like, is to see what my confidence, what impact would this have on, on, on my confidence, on my self-confidence, or comments, or all kinds of stuff like this. They try to desperately steer away somehow in their direction i'm gonna put it this way i know this is a big big thing i know this is way better than even if i would go and release yet another audio recording how i have recognized somebody i know so because i was brought to the same location afterwards after the ruskis had me in front of this apartment buildings by some other people who have estimated watch 
I was along with them inside of the vehicle uh, and they would observe this stuff and talk about this stuff. So this is the stuff that is going to get big. Uh, it's a much bigger thing than what's at the beginning at the first time when I went to the lady asked her inside of the bureau if this was actually her location and it was not. I was kind of a uh, uh, confused because I was so damn certain that apartment that I had was you know uh, definitely her location then I actually realized some other stuff I reminded myself of some other stuff that happened and so this is adds a lot of credits to my case um, also from some other sites points of view and so on uh, not such a small thing I think Kremlin right now under Kremlin right now quite crumbling right now I would say I estimate this is a disaster situation for Mr. Putin uh, this is just this is just completely uncivilized it's not it's not uh, if he wants to look like European this is this is like you know like you don't even treat animals like this I mean it's completely uncivilized. I don't know. I don't know how this man can relate himself to, to, to actually how anybody can relate himself to him. I don't understand this really. So this is better actually than if I would get stuff I have released in the past. This is really good. The most important part about this video I was gonna skip. Um, it was intentionally I was gonna skip one because yeah, I try to protect identity of the people as much as possible unless it's something very bad or something like this. With this lady what happens is it's almost too good to be true. She is really really good person too. Uh, number one fact how did Mr. Donald Trump met her? Why Lublin? Okay I already have explained because it was because of Donald Trump who expressed interest in her and this was a regular case whenever I would express under MK Ultra interest in any female that would be appealing to me uh, it would be immediately politicians around and they would stick their nose try to see want to see and oftentimes those girls I don't I'm sorry I don't see this as they would score um, but yeah, in Poland, and this is this is where problem is. This is this is where the problem is. Okay, this is why this case is so very very difficult case. The girls from different towns would compete with people they even should not consider like an option really in life to help their towns, their cities. Um, Lublin, the lady from Lublin just happened to be such a case. This was a beautiful lady that was very much motivated in bringing business people to Lublin. Lublin is located not too far from Ukraine and that's how Donald Trump met her. I expressed interest in her under MK Ultra. She was appealing to me. The next thing you see Donald went out with her. And it was again, thank you, Bobby. It happened with other politicians as well. I said, very difficult, unfortunately. She did really good stuff for Lubin because there was there is some construction, some arena, something like this. She told me. They started, she bring these people and they started and the money started to come to the city. And so... There was a lot of envy against her by some other ladies. I'm not going to say who and from where. Um, she did best she possibly could for Lublin, for Poland. Lublin she loves. Difficult for me because Donald Trump involved people like this into the deal. These are the people I supposed to get the proofs from. 
Something I have to thank for most the United Nations, International Criminal Court, which deliberately declined to act according to their statute, according to their criteria, rules. It goes the same to the European Union. And now imagine to get through, to get people say what they should say by basically, I'm not going to say discrediting themselves if they go through this, but in a way it's very difficult, imagine, uh, you do something like this, it helps to your city, you have individual in front of you and the only thing you can do is you can give him what you are allowed to give as much as information you are allowed to give that's why this is very difficult and the same situation applied to Zgersh, Lodz and so on uh, basically whole Poland very difficult situation for me which is also placing me in a situation in which I already owe people stuff for the stuff uh, and I did not even get through this thing through this deal yet and I am already in debt and as you see Donald Trump is winning this case over me he is guiding the whole case like a big time mafia gangster boss with the help of Central Intelligence Agency this is bad this is very bad we know what happened to Kennedy we know what happened to Kennedy and it did happen to him exactly for the reasons to which you witness today in this video because these were the people that replaced him this is where America make turn and whatever was before was unacceptable in the United States of America it actually became acceptable unfortunately not only for United States of America but for entire world which is heading to a total collapse for the end I'm gonna put it this way this is important stuff which Polish people already are aware of it and people should be worldwide they should be aware of it I've seen Trump calling a rabbi the other day due to this shooting and stuff like this I'm gonna put it this way this lady particular and it was also some other ladies did have what you would see as a Jewish DNA um, to me a bunch of really appealing ladies beautiful ladies um, just really interesting beautiful to me Donald Trump did go out with her I don't know about how much did he go with others but he did go with this one and what he did was he expressed me he under MK Ultra I think it was in front of her it might have been that he arranged that she is gonna do it for me if I'm gonna need it in the future too the thing is that when we are back in the US maybe maybe even here in Poland his view changed to the view in which he suggested that I don't know about your taste if I quote him your taste is very you like like Jewish ladies and they don't have much future in Poland in Europe so on your place in your situation I would consider some other options too it's going to be difficult for you this was the final the final dot on the letter I in this case from Donald Trump this is a snake I'm just saying so you understand who you deal with that's all I gotta say in respect to this video